The next area to look at is turf. Operations of turf systems. If we have basic turf systems, we may have a scenario where it has uh, manual valves that we're going to be turning on and operating for a given run time on a given schedule throughout a week. We may have an uh, automated clock, con we're calling controller, that's the most approved word for them, that will tell the valves automatically when to turn on and off using electric power or hydraulic flow. There are hydraulic clocks. We don't see a lot of hydraulic clocks in the Pacific Northwest, but where you get in areas that the, where they have a lot of electrical storms, then you'll start seeing some hydraulic clocks. The reason for the hydraulic clocks is that uh, if you have lightning strikes, it will actually send that electrical energy from the ground right up the wires that are out buried out to the valves up into the clock and burn the clock up if you use electric. So what they do is they use water tubes to go out to the valves and actually have all of the valves run hydraulically and the, all the tubes come back to the controller, back to the main controller itself or the satellite controller if it's a big area like a golf course or a or an office complex or something like that might have multiple controllers. So there is that opportunity that you'll find that these systems will be run by little tubes with water pressure. The norm in this part of the world is going to be electric at low voltage. So it's generally 24 volts. You don't have to worry about getting shocked when you work on it. So it's safe for operations to do repairs. It's safe to do repairs without having to worry about getting electrocuted in the field. Also, again, with operations of turf heads, an occasional walk through the system needs to be done in case you're starting to get misalignment of the arcs. If we have a head that's running beside a driveway or a sidewalk and over time somebody steps on it and rotates their foot on it, you can actually turn the top of a head, maybe a mower turned on the top of it, even a car could have driven over it and it might be misaligned. So you must check on occasion for alignment so that you're cutting the edges down driveways, along the sides of houses, make sure you're not watering the side of the house, watering the fence, and so on. Also, you need to watch for levelness. <coughs> See if the heads are getting tipped. As, they, as the <coughs> mowing operation occurs and as people use the grounds areas, some of those heads are going to get listing a little bit sideways in the ground. They'll start to uh, uh, if you hit it just wrong with a mower tire, it's going to have the opportunity to tip that head one or two or three degrees off of perpendicular to the ground surface. And so what we want to do is occasionally check them and go in and if that head starts to tip a little sideways, we've got to stand it back up again so that it gets its proper range around the full perimeter of its throw. So you do need to do some maintenance on any of these systems and monitor them on an occasion. The biggest problem with most turf systems is they all run at night. So nobody ever watches it run. You don't know if it's performing well until all of a sudden you end up with a dry spot somewhere. That's usually the indicator when something starts to show up as a problem. And so it pays to spend a little time and you can run the cycles and just run every circuit, just run them for a minute or two, go through them every month or so, just to verify they're working correctly. It's one thing that many of the companies do. In fact, a little turf company that I started here in Walla Walla, we offered that service. We'd come in every two months and do a, a check on the system and then reprogram the controller for that time of year. So the person wasn't watering the same in April that they were in July. 
and then not watering the same in July that they were in September. So we would come through and every two months do a spot check of all those systems, charge them a minimal fee, and heck, they save that much just from water savings by setting the clocks for them. If the, you know, we'd give them the instructions, they could do it themselves, or they could have the company come by and do it for them. And it worked out really well. And then we'd check every head every time we come through. Sometimes you'll have a stream rotor or a single stream rotor that isn't rotating. The, the rotor goes out in it. Or an impact head that the, the spring tension has gone wacky on it and it isn't rotating, it's getting hung up. So that's things that you can adjust that the homeowner may not have ever paid any attention to because the thing ran at 3 o'clock in the morning. And so they didn't see it happen.